Okay guys, welcome back to today's Food Aspire Home and Garden and today I had to get a chainsaw. I just bought it. This is really cheap actually. I am going to see how it works. Um, this one is from Harbor Freight and I don't do, I don't have a lot of like videos with production stuff but, and I'm not sponsored or anything but um, this is a good one so um, there's a lot of good reviews actually that has like four stars, four and a half, three and a half, four and a half, almost four and a half. I don't know, something really good on the internet anyway. And everybody has these on the YouTube channel. So I went and bought one today and I've got my scaffolding ready to go here. You can see it. Um, I cleaned everything yesterday, which I did not make a video, but look, all the junk's gone off the couch. Um, that chair is half sprayed because of when I did the cabinet over here, but I've got my scaffolding cleaned off. It actually looks really nice in here. Pretty good. Pretty nice. There's only one box and a bunch of stuff over there that I had to move because we're still using that stuff. I just need to move it so I could move the other stuff back in here, but I went through and I cleaned this whole area yesterday. You can still see my bucket with my dirty water in it. But I cleaned off everything. It looks so nice. Even cleaned the couch. Still have my blankets on there, but they're always on there. It doesn't matter. I'm like a blanket person. Um, and then, of course, a couple few days ago, I did these and it's still there, which is cool. So, we are going to be headed outside. Neshoba's ready to go. You can see him over here in the corner. He's like, hey, what you doing? Are you coming out? What you doing? So anyway, um, my door has been taped forever. You can see it. Sorry for the glare. But anyway, that's another show. Um, we're going to come out here and we're going to do some stuff around here. Um, and you can see some of the stuff out here. See it? Some of the stuff. And this is driving me freaking bonkers, which is this tree up here. That tree right there in front of the house as you walk outside there's the garage there's that tree that tree oh my god it drives me nuts so we need to do something about that tree yeah we do big bad tree um he has too many issues so he needs to have some some stuff done we're gonna try to plant our seeds today fix this tree pull some weeds i know more weeds but we're gonna do some tree stuff and we're gonna have to use a scaffold team because I can't reach it. And I don't feel sturdy on the ladder that I do have. And I already had this, so this is coming back outside, which should be interesting. So, um, yeah, so let's try out this. I already have my pole saw out there. And um, if you guys watch my videos too, um, here's an update on my um, money tree. It is blooming. It's kind of like dead up here, but it's blooming down here, which is a good sign. So that means that it's starting to do well. This is my fig tree or fig plant. He's doing pretty good. Um, and then you can see all the flowers from my window from the front yard, which is really nice to look out um, into, except for the brown, which will probably have to be trimming. Excuse me, some roses and stuff. I'm tired, dude. I cleaned like everything in this house. Like I cleaned, this whole thing is now spotless. Um, I cleaned all of this off too, which was a big mess. And then, like we remember last week when we moved all those other barrels or whatever, I even cleaned out this thing. And then, like, I went in with the kitchen and I started cleaning the kitchen too. But it's not all the way clean because there's still junk over here, but all of these have to do with some projects that are going on and then just a little bit of dishes. So I've done a lot of stuff yesterday. I don't know what the heck happened, but it's just like, I can't take this anymore and it's driving me freaking nuts. So, um, we're going to go outside and do a bunch of stuff and, um, 
get a bunch of stuff done and you know see how it goes you know i'm already i've got my uv protection on i've got my sunglasses ready to go my sunglasses are right there my water bottle and my chainsaw oil actually that's brand new i didn't even open it this one already came with one so that was kind of nice um i've got some more drinks over here that i gotta bring with me outside i need like a cooler or something when i'm outside or like a refrigerator outside but I, that doesn't always work something to keep my drinks cool because all i have ugh, i think i should just freeze one of my bottles here's the one that's in there right now but anyway hang tight guys we are going to get this party started and we're gonna go outside and do a bunch of stuff and cut some stuff. Some of the trees aren't coming to life yet. Some of the boxwoods need to be cut. I wish I had one of those hedge trimmer thingies, but I don't. We probably have to just use scissors for now until they get bigger. Then we will have to get one, but we'll wait for that to happen. So anyway, see you guys in a few seconds, okay? try to get the dog out and about to kind of exercise him a little bit this is one of the things that you can do too when you're working on projects with the dogs um, he won't go anywhere uh, if you tell him not to do something he will do it because he's trained like that he is a service dog so that's what he does um, but if you don't have a um, dog that is a service dog um, there's actually another dog over on my neighbor's who's right next to me, um, on the right of the screen, but I did not show that because they don't probably want to be on the camera, but you can always like put them on a tether or some sort of, um, rope or whatever. That's how I trained him on how to be able to, um, not get distracted. Um, it also helps if you have another dog in the house too, to kind of train them or other dogs around so you can train him not to care about the other dog. Um, he did try to go after the other dog um, one time and then he got told not to do it. So um, that's why he is so good. Um, but exercising them before you do something does help because um, he's gonna stand underneath my feet like the whole time. Um, and you're gonna see that here when I'm trimming this tree.
right guys, it's the next day. I have two branches off. I don't know if you can see them. This one still needs to come off. And it goes way far. And over the house. So this, we're gonna have to take out in sections, but I did take off that one and that one which were ginormous, which you guys saw in the video. And you can see how it splits in threes. Um, if I were to take off this one, that would make no sense. So this one's coming off, this branch right here, and then the other two are staying. And then I might trim up some of this so it doesn't go over the driveway as much. Depends on if I can reach that or not. Okay. So I'm trying, this is a very old tree. He's very old. I think he was here before this house was here. I have a sneaking suspicion he's over 40 years old. Probably as old as I am, who knows. But anyway, um, see how he goes over the house? That's not good and then leaves get stuck in here. And it's the same way, see, like right there that will come off when this whole branch comes off. And you don't want leaves in that are getting in here. It's not good for your gutter system. So um, on the other side, there's another tree. See that guy over there? You look far away. Um, that has a bunch of branches, which you can see that are going over the house too. So that tree needs a defix too. So. There's going to be quite a bit of tree branch videos coming up, so um, that's what's going on. So anyway, I hope you guys in our, um, have a wonderful rest of your weekend, do some DIY projects, which I know you will. I also weeded all of these guys, these are gone. Okay, This is for a project, that's why I have it out here. Um, I need to bring it inside eventually, but I need to cut it. I need to get some saw horses so I could cut this better. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you guys inspire you something wonderful in your life, no matter what it is, and inspire all the people to do something wonderful in theirs. And I hope you guys stay inspired for this rainy season in Colorado. It's going to be raining possibly every single afternoon. It gets hot and then it rains. It didn't rain yesterday. Maybe it did a little bit. I don't know. But there's lots of projects that we're going to be doing. Um, we've got some plants coming to life here. And my roses aren't coming to life yet. It may not be time for them yet. They probably are late June bloomers. So is this one. They might also be dead. And you might have some of those, you know, even though I do garden a lot, there could be the fact that it is, um, because of the winter that we had, it was quite wet. And, um, I did put some, um, vermilion light. What is it? Vermilion perculite in these to help with the moisture control, um, and air and stuff. Um, but I don't know if that was enough. My boxwoods are having issues too. So, um, we might do a video on those. I don't know. We'll see. Um, cause mine aren't doing so great because of the water. So we'll see what happens. My cherry tree is starting to come to life too. It's not quite hot enough yet. The temperature feels kind of cold out here today. So if it gets warm, all of these will do a lot better. So anyway, we'll see you next time on Food Aspire Home and Garden. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Don't work too hard, but I know you will. And we will try to take the rest of this tree down maybe next weekend. We'll have to see what happens, how the weather is, whether it's raining, you know, that kind of thing. We'll try to get as much as we can before it rains. I think we're gonna take it down in pieces is what we're gonna do. So we'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.